Stage 5 presents the riders with a 170k hilly stage, good for 2400 meters of elevation gain, so by no means an easy stage. The final 50k are downhill and flat though, most likely making this a day for the sprinters. How versatile they'll have to be will depend on the pace in the first half of the race. In my book, this one will go to the bunch in what should be a fairly straightforward sprint. In stage 4 we saw Leknesund claiming pink and hence Remco will be able to show his rainbow jersey for at least two days. The points standing remains largely unchanged besides Albanese climbing the rankings from the breakaway. And in stage 5 there are 62 points on offer, so it's money time for the Maglia Ciclamino contenders. Pinot stayed in the lead of the KOM competition with Gebregaz... <laughs> Gebregaz... Gebreg... Zabier. Gebre Zabier and Parepantre climbing the ranking from the breakaway. On stage 5 there's 18 points on offer and we can expect Pinot to claim the first 9 with the second lot going to the break. Here's the betting odds at the time of recording with Peders the clear favorite ahead of Groves. And then here's the riders to watch in my opinion. Pascal Ackermann at UAE, Gaviria at Movistar and Jonathan Milan at Bahrain Victorious, Fiorelli at Bardiani, Cavendish at Astana and Pedersen at Trek Segafredo, Bonifazio and Marit at Intermarché, Caden Groves at Alpes in de Koning and Consoni at Cofidis, Meyerhofer and Dainese at DSM, David Decker at Arkea, Michael Matthews at Jaico Alula and Vincenzo Albanese at Eolo Cometa. Milan, Pedersen and Groves are my 4 star favorites. Gaviria gets 3 stars. Ackermann, Consoni and Matthews get 2 stars. Cavendish, Albanese and Decker each get 1 star. In terms of podium prediction, I'm going with a win by Groves ahead of Milan and Pedersen. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and see you next time.